I think you'll like this too. We've known Blake Bortles for five years now, and we feel like we know him pretty well from a reporter player perspective. You never really know these players. You don't spend that much time with them. But this summer, we did spend a day with Blake Bortles at the Ark Jacksonville Village. And we got a glimpse behind the man who wears number five. In our sports culture, it's all or nothing. Celebrated for touchdowns, ridiculed for interceptions. We know Blake Bortles, the football player. And after last season, we like Blake Bortles, the football player. What about the Blake Bortles when the helmet comes off or once he jogs off the football field? Maybe the people here know him better than the rest of us. A peel back the curtain look at NFL QB Blake Bortles. The Ark Jacksonville Village is a place for smiles, a place where the journey to normalcy feels accomplished for men and women who have searched for it all their lives. I know sign language though. According to their mission, the Ark Jacksonville is a place that provides opportunities for independent living, employment, education, community integration, and more. It's a place that Blake Bortles has invested his time and money in. A $40,000 check a couple of years ago, and occasionally a visit to the community. I came uh, to the grand opening, and then I think this is the second time after that that I've come over and hung out, um, and we've played games and gone out in the field and, and done different stuff. Giving back to this community is part of Blake Bortles' makeup. So Blake went into the NFL, and he did start a foundation, and he is helping CJ and kids like CJ. And what started out as a joke turned into a dream. A few years ago, when Bortles started this foundation, we introduced you to C.J. Williams. The two met a decade ago while Bortles was in high school back in Oviedo. I was a freshman in high school, and he was probably 10 years old when we first started or around there. And then I did it for four years and hung out with him and was his buddy at all his football games. This summer, C.J. was part of the Ark Jacksonville Summer Life Program. Bortles funded eight scholarships to that program. You say CJ was the reason uh, I got involved in all of this. Um, I became passionate about uh, being able to try and make any type of difference, and I don't think you can ever say you're happy with how much you've done because there's always so much to do and so much more you can do. As we sat down with Blake and CJ, we got a glimpse behind the man known as the quarterback of the Jacksonville Jaguars. You watched the games? Mm -hmm. No, you didn't. I did. You watched all of them? Yeah. But you lost, right? <laughs> so, well, it, Jeez. Lost. What? You just lost, man. Okay, not this year. Hey, I know. Sorry. 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 Man. Bortles held a town hall type of meeting with the Ark Jacksonville community during his visit. And now you guys are really having some good stuff going on. What is the most important moment that you had? This past year made, it, made everything worth it. The, the, the bad times we had helped us get through last year. There were some hard-hitting questions. It is going to be the toughest opponent this year. That's a good question. Um, everybody's really good. And then we met a gentleman named Robert Brown. Robert Brown stole the show. He showed off his dance moves, and he entertained the entire room. Then he finished his performance with a question for Blake. What's your favorite music star? My favorite music is Downtown Robert Brown. <laughs> Perfect answer. As the day ended, Blake Bortles didn't just get in his truck and drive away. This caught our attention. Bortles and downtown Robert Brown walking down the street in a place touchdowns and interceptions really don't matter. A moment of normalcy for both men and a peek at a quarterback that is much more than a guy in a helmet throwing passes on Sundays.